everyone, this is Billy. In this video, I'm gonna cook Canadian beans. Good one. You'll see. It's very good one. All right. Okay, so the first step. I soak in the water my beans for 12 hours. So that was very important to, to make them more tender, you know? Okay, so the first, the first thing that I've read in the book, cooking book, well, onion. So you need first of all an onion and dried mustard. So I just open it and you just cover the whole onion with mustard. There we go. And don't cut it, you know. They said, don't cut it. Just put it in the center, the bottom, cover it with beans, and you're good to go now. And after that, uh, what do I do? After that, I put salt on it. Another one tablespoon. There we go. That's it. I could put it in my hands, but you know, it's like I don't like it, you know. I like, you know, just to use my intuition like cooking, you know. And uh, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but uh, most of the time it's, it works. <laughs> I've got some lard that I cut. So, because in Canada, mostly in Quebec, we are a big fan of lard. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six good slices, which is pretty good. And um, I just leave it this way, and it will be, you know, very tasty. And molasses. Well, for molasses, uh, you need one half cup of molasses or one cup. So this is what I've had, and I've had this one too. Just gonna pour the whole thing because I like sugar man just crazy just I'm just gonna take the whole thing well I guess there is no more on this one so the no more recipe here you just put water and this is good enough put it in the oven about what 300 degrees Fahrenheit and you let it cook uh, for about five or six hours and this is good enough but I don't like doing thing that everybody does. I like, you know, doing different things, you know. So, I'm gonna put some more stuff in it. Woo, let's have fun. Okay, first of all, what I'm gonna put, uh, hey man, we're in Quebec. And in Quebec, Canada, we like to drink once in a while. So, uh, yeah, just gonna get something. You know, and my grandfather used to drink a lot of St. George. They were like, it was very popular back in the middle of the 19th, 20th century around, you know, 1950s and the, in the 60s. And never earlier than that. It's very, like, very common. It was very common that time. And the people just, you know, buy some big jug of it, you know. And they were drinking, you know, a big jug. Like, put in, you know, the big jug. Uh, on there, you know, it was like like this used jug, you know, and they were just taking their their finger. Oh yeah, don't. I guess it was this way. Oh yeah, it was this way. Put it like this and okay. And after I put some butter. Well, they said you know in the book they said about half a cup, but I won't put half a cup because I've got lard, you know, and, but I will put just, you know, just, just a bit, boop, not too much, and after, we've got apples, we've got three apples, cut in quarters, remove the skin, and you have to remove the core too, so everything removed, and you just put it on it. There we go. So this is going to be the best Canadian bean ever. Well, I got it in a whole book, you know, from the 70s. 
and uh, I don't know well I never tried this one before so I will try it well if it works good if it doesn't well I've got good friends around <laughs> Okay, and the last, the last part now is to put water, to cover the whole thing with water. Just cover it. I put it in a bowl, like you can use a Dutch oven, or you can use, you know, anything that can go in the oven. And, uh, well, just gotta put it in the bread oven, and it will be good. Oh man, that's good. I just put it in the back where it's very warm. 500 Fahrenheit. There we go. Close it this way. There we go. Okay, now it's been in the oven for about four hours. And um, I guess it's ready right now because the oven was uh, about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. At the beginning for about an hour and after it went just slow down a bit all the way to 300 350 oh yeah okay there we go how does it look <laughs> it's pretty good guys wow look at that isn't it beautiful wow so we've got the onion just right here we've got the put um, the apples and we've got the lard too it's you know I never tasted something like that before I, I made it myself I can lie to you guys but wow hmm yeah I should find someone huh? Mike uh, Mike has just got here today he's gonna ah. spend a couple of days with me there we go man okay. just give it a try and uh, look at the camera, not me. That is good or not. Just say the truth, man. I can handle it, you know. Maybe th there is some juice at the bottom. Do you want more juice? That's what I'm... That, yeah, you should mix it. Right? Yeah, yeah. That, oh, that's man, what I want to taste. You want to give me the, the top dry... No, but you know what? It's a good thing you found juice because you wouldn't have been happy. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's good stuff, huh? A little bit more sugar, uh, more salt in it, or just a little bit. Okay, it's gonna be perfect. I would give this a big eight out of ten. Oh, and usually you're very picky with the rates, so I'm very happy you gave that, me. I never gave anything with eight yet so far. Okay. Oh yeah. Except Thanks, except what I cook. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 your cooking is very good. <laughs> no, you guys gotta try this. This is awesome. Yeah, uh, very good. So that was uh, cooking beans at the log cabin with Billy and uh, Mike just behind. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye. If you're new to my channel and you want to meet a French Canadian, well, sub to my channel. I'm sure you're gonna love it. You're gonna learn some new stuff about bushcrafting, and of course, you're gonna have a good laugh. Well, life it's all about it, you know. Enjoy having fun and just, you know, live your passion. So, see you next time, guys. Bye.